till the popo comes. with no tags and no restarts. I'm gonna turn around and break down the dance section by section using steps and counts. Some of the parts have a low impact option and a higher impact option, which means one of them has some extra hopping in it. So I will show both as well as any styling in each section. We'll then face the front wall all the way through and we'll do both options, the low impact option and the higher impact option. Then we're gonna go around and do a couple walls of the dance, starting with the low impact and transitioning into the higher impact so that you can decide which one's going to work best for you or your group, and you can hopefully dance this on a dance floor near you. So let's turn around and learn cheap beers. Section one, your weight's going to start on your left foot. When we line up as a contra line dance, you're gonna make two lines and you're gonna make sure that you're staggered. So what that means is when you're facing the other line, there is nobody in front of you. Each person is going to be on either side of your shoulder, leaving you an opening to pass through. For section one, we're gonna start with our weight on our left foot. You're gonna take your right heel, place it forward, quickly step it next to your left, place your left heel forward, quickly step it next to your right. And now we're going to do a step forward with our right and touch our left. And you want that to be kind of a big step when you do that part of the first section, it's going to create one line. So each line will come together. The next part will have us pass through. So now we're gonna repeat that, but with our left foot. So you're gonna take your left heel, place it forward, quickly step it next to your right. Place your right heel forward, quickly step it next to your left. And we're gonna do a big step forward with our left and touch our right. And that will cause you to switch spaces with the line that was opposite of you. So let's try that with some counts. Weights on that left foot, you're doing your heels. One and two and three, four, five and six and seven, eight. Section two is the part that has a low impact and high impact option. So we're gonna start with the low impact option. Weights on that left foot, you're gonna take your right foot, you're gonna step it to the side. And as you step it to the side, you're gonna roll your hips counterclockwise from left to right. So you're gonna step to the right, roll your hips, around to the back, come onto that right foot and bump your left hip towards the left diagonal. We're now going to repeat that, but we're gonna go clockwise. So we're gonna step down on that left foot and as we step down on the left, we're gonna bring our hip from right around to the left and bump your right hip slightly into that right diagonal. Now, we're going to quickly step our right foot out to the side and our left foot out to the side and we're going to hold. We're now going to cross that right over our left and over our left shoulder, you're going to do a half unwind, putting your weight onto your left foot to face the opposite wall of dance, in this case, the six o'clock wall. So let's try that part with some counts. This is the low impact option. Bring your hips around. It's one, two, three, four, and five. Hold six, 
seven, eight. So that's the low impact option, which works well with the higher impact option. So you can show both options or dance both options within the same contra dance. Now the higher impact option, we're going to do those hips just like we did to start the dance, where we come around and bump. Same thing. Now, instead of hopping out, out, and hold, you're gonna hop both feet out at the same time. So we're gonna hop out. Now we're gonna hop both feet in, but we're gonna cross them over. So your left foot is gonna come behind your right, right foot over your left. And now you're going to do that half unwind over your left shoulder, putting your weight onto your left foot. And you'll still be facing the back wall or the opposite line of dance that you were facing to start. So let's try that part with some counts. So we're still rolling for one, two, three, four. Now we're going and five and six, seven, eight. And you can unwind and face that back wall. Same thing as the other option. From here, section three, we're going to cross rock and do side shuffles. When we cross rock, you right now you're facing the opposite line that was facing you the other way. We're going to do high fives with a partner across from you. You can choose to do both or you can choose to do one kind of the choice is yours. So when we cross rock over, you're going to be facing the person that would be at your left diagonal and you're going to give them a high five. You're going to recover onto your left foot and now you're going to do a right side shuffle, right side, left together, right side. You're now going to cross rock your left over your right and whoever's at your right diagonal, you're going to give them a high five either with both hands, one hand, cross rock and a high five, recover onto your right foot and you're going to do a left side shuffle, side together, side. So let's try that with some counts. We would have just unwound, so our weight is on our left foot. You're facing six o'clock. We're gonna cross rock and high five. So it's one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Section four in our final section, we're going to make a box that's going to travel around our line across from us. So we're gonna do two steps forward. We're gonna step forward right, and we're gonna step forward left. This is gonna pass the two lines through each other. You're now going to do a right shuffle. So we're gonna step our right foot side, left together, right side. You're now switching spaces with the person that was opposite of you. We're now going to do two walks back, left, right. You're gonna do a left side shuffle, left side, right together, left side, returning you to the spot that you started at, ready to start the dance all over again. So now let's try that last part with some counts, two walks, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now those walks don't have to be huge. You just wanna make sure it allows both lines to switch, cross, and come back to where they were so that you can start the dance all over again. So now let's face the front wall. We're going to do the low impact option first, and then we'll do the higher impact option second. We're going to do both ways with steps and counts. Weight is on that left foot. We're gonna start with our low pin impact option. So two heels, heel step, heel step, slide, touch, heel step, heel step, slide, touch, roll clockwise, roll clockwise, hop out, out, hold, cross, half unwind, cross rock, recover, side shuffle, cross rock, Recover, side shuffle, two walks. Walk, walk, right side shuffle. Back, back, left side shuffle. And then you're ready to start the dance all over again. So let's try that with some counts. Weights on that left foot, your two heels. One and two and three, four, five and six and seven, eight. One, two, three, four and five, hold six, seven, eight. One, two, three and four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. So now that's the whole dance for the low impact option. Let's do the high impact option. Personally, the hop variation, as in their demo, is my personal favorite. Both are listed on the step sheet, so you decide which one works best for your group. 
but I personally like the hop variation. So weight is on that left foot. We're gonna do the higher impact, which is your hopping out and crossing over. So heels, heel, fall, heel, and slide, touch. Heel step, heel step, slide, touch, roll counterclockwise, roll clockwise, hop out, cross, half unwind. Cross rock, recover, side shuffle. Cross rock, recover, side shuffle, two walks. Walk, walk, right side, shuffle. Back, back, side shuffle to the left. And you're ready to start the dance all over again. So now let's try that part with some counts. We're gonna do the higher impact of a hop variation with some counts. Weights on that left foot, you're doing your heels. One and two and three. Four, five and six and seven, eight. One, two, three, four and five and six, seven, eight. One, two, three and four, five, six, seven and eight. One, two, three and four, five, six, seven and eight. And that is the whole dance. You don't have to worry about any tags or restarts. You can just have a lot of fun dancing this dance. So now let's go around. We're going to do two walls of the low impact option, two walls of the high impact option. So on the front wall, I'm going to do steps. Back wall, we'll do counts. So we're gonna start with our low impact, front and back wall, and then we'll transition into the higher impact for two walls. And then you can decide which one works best for you. Weights on that left foot, we're starting with our low impact heels. Heel step, heel step, slide, touch. Heel step, heel step, slide, touch, hip, roll, hip, roll, out, out, hold, cross, unwind, cross, rock, recover, side, shuffle, cross, rock, recover, side, shuffle, two walks, walk, walk, right side, shuffle, back, back, left side, shuffle, heels, one and two and three, four, five and six and seven, eight, one, two, three, four and five, hold, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, and four, five, six. Let's do the high impact. Heel step, heel step, slide, touch. Heel step, heel step, slide, touch. Hip, roll, hip, roll, out, cross, unwind. Cross rock, recover, side shuffle. Cross rock, recover, side shuffle, two walks. Right, left, right, side shuffle, left, right, Side shuffle, heels, one and two and three, four, five and six and seven, eight. One, two, three, four and five and six, seven, eight. One, two, three and four, five, six, seven and eight. One, two, three and four, five, six, seven and eight. And that is the whole thing for Cheap Beers Contra. If you have any questions, let me know, but I hope I get to dance this on a dance floor with you soon. Thanks guys.